Hey traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at the S&P 500, which started with a gap down today and moving up, which is extremely important because 80% of the gaps are getting closed. Now, I did take a long trade in AMD during this time when the market was moving higher, but I also had some short trades, which I'm about to show you. And this is all based on the fact that S&P moved up, just like you're seeing now. Now, why is that? The S&P, once it moves up, is moving to close the gap, which happens 80% of the time, and then you expect a pullback. There are several reasons to think why a pullback should come. One of them is, of course, the political situation right now, war with Russia, whatever. Now, the market is downtrending recently, so I expect it to downtrend. It did move up to close the gap, which normally happens because institutional traders are pushing it up for several reasons. I made a video about this a webinar a 30 minute web webinar i suggest you're going to look back on my videos and take a look and find this webinar is extremely important how to trade the s p 500 and how to uh, how the s p influences the stocks that you're trading extremely important video and i'm going to show you an example right now that you're going to understand it maybe a little bit better so i expect a pullback for several reasons uh one it only moved up to close the gap second uh the situation uh third uh uh, the fact that it's a 30 minute mark right now and normally on a Monday morning, a 30 minute mark means that the mark is going to turn. Normally, we're going to have a reversal on the 30 minute mark. Now, this is Tuesday morning, but we had a long weekend, which means there's more open orders coming from the weekend. And now this bunch of open orders from the weekends are the ones that making the market move in a specific direction. Let's say the first 30 minute normally during the, a Monday morning now, Tuesday morning, and then reverses. So once these all open orders are settling, after they settle, you expect the market to reverse. And this is the time where the market should start reversing. Now, you also take a look at uh, the market right now. You can see that there's a small red candle forming right now. So I expect the market to reverse during, this, uh, during the next few minutes. And then you look for the trades and I look at uh, BABA and BA. Both of them are extremely interesting because both of them moved up a little bit with the market but they are relatively weak. So I start with BABA here. BABA, I already had a trade in BABA as you can see here, 400 shares left from my previous trade which was a great trade but notice that BABA is down 5% and BABA moved up with the market. Once the S&P moved up a little bit, this is what happened with BABA but it did not move over the highs. It kept to the lows. That's why it gives me the feeling that BABA is relatively weak and it's going to continue coming down and that's why I'm going to add to my previous trade and now I'm going to add 2,000 shares. So I'm getting ready and I'm hitting the button right here and I'm short another 2,000 shares. That's my second trade in BABA. Now again, I'm expecting BABA, which is relatively weak. Remember, the market moved up, closed the gap, and even continued a little bit, but I'm expecting BABA, which is relatively weak, to come down and move under the lows, where I'm going to take my partial. So as you can see here, uh, I've got a very nice technical formation in BABA. It just broke down under this technical formation. I added, I'm going to take a fast forward now in BABA so you can see how it broke down under the lows and it's touching the lows right now and I'm up $1,500 beautiful breakdown formation about to take my partial 17 1800 dollars now left just 200 shares now my second trade was ba which happened at the same time and again ba is relatively weak it's down two percent it moved up when the market moved up but now again it's coming down because the market's pulling back down so i'm shorting here 4,000 shares and again remember the market did move up the s p did move up but once the pullback happens, BA would find this as an excuse to move lower because it's relatively weak. Look at this beautiful breakdown formation. I'm up $6,000, took my partial, and it all started here. Again, take a look at the S&P 500. This is where it all started. You expect the pullback for several reasons. I mentioned that. 80% of gaps are getting closed. S&P moved up to close the gap. This is a good reason for a pullback. And then you've got the second good reason, the political situation, markets should come down, you expect it to fail. And then the third one would be the fact that uh, it's um, the 30 minute mark reversal. Normally on a Monday morning, it's strong. On a Tuesday morning after a long weekend, it's probably even stronger. So we've got a nice uh, technical reversal here at the 30 minute mark. I don't know where it's going to continue. Maybe it's gonna come down all the way down. Maybe it's gonna move over the highs, I don't care. I could expect the 30 minute reversal. Now, again, you look for stocks which are relatively weak. You look for stocks which 
you know, they did move up when the market moved up, but they are downtrending. And since they are downtrending and the markets pulled back, they will find this excuse that the market just moved the back down to move to a new low. And again, they do follow the market. Although the market was moving up, a pullback in the market, a 10 minute pullback, just two red candles, as you can see here, is a good enough excuse to move it down. Now, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos and learn more. If you want to subscribe to the channel, there's a button right here. You can also hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And please, please remember that trading in securities is extremely risky and extremely hard. It may seem easy here. I'm just, you know, look at how much money I just made in 30 minutes, over $10,000. I had four green trades, one losing trade, but the end result is just absolutely amazing. And you know, it seems like it is easy for me, maybe it is. For most of the people out there, it's extremely hard. And my results are very, very untypical. Again, I'm a very experienced trader. I'm trading for 22 years. I wanna thank you again for watching this video. Please give me a like if you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.